Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today, I'm going to show you how to record live with Autotune inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper, and this theme is called Peace. Um, I have a sample set up in here. This is from my June sample flip. If you're not a part of my Discord, I don't know what you're doing, man. You should definitely join the Discord. It's very fun. You do sample flip every single month and you actually win prize and perks and stuff like that inside the Discord if you win. So with that being said, that is below in the description. So this is what the sample sounds like that we have inside the Discord. All right, all right, all right. If you want to hear more, join the Discord. It is in there. You can actually go and download it for free. So definitely join the Discord. All right, so let's see if we can get everything set up. So the first thing we, I like to do is to add two tracks. All right, and the reason I'm adding these two tracks is one is for the mic and one is for the auto-tune. If you're just gonna be doing one track and you're gonna just use that one track for auto-tune, you don't need to do this method, but this is a better way of doing it to me personally, because if you wanna add more tracks, you don't have to keep adding auto-tune after auto-tune after auto-tune on those tracks. It'll just automatically kind of go where you want it to go. All right? And uh, for this, I'm actually gonna be using the Shure SM7B for this, and I have a Notorio Mini Fuse that I'm using as the audio interface. If you don't have an audio interface, it may not come out the way you want it to. I highly suggest to get an audio interface so that way you can actually use those drivers from the audio interface that'll make this run a lot smoother. Right now I'm using the FL Studio one just because I'm using OBS and I wanna be able to hear the stuff inside the DAW and inside of OBS. So the latency might be a lot <laughs> for me on my end, but that's perfectly fine. So let's get everything set up. So I'm gonna name these first. All right, so this one is called Auto-Tune and this one is the mic. So I'm gonna change this input right here to none for the uh, Auto-Tune. I don't want anything on there. And for the mic, I'm gonna have the line in because that's the one that's for FL Studio, All right? So what I'm gonna do is click here and I'm gonna add an effect. And the first one I'm gonna use is called Grelian 2. This is free, it's from Auburn Sounds. The link should be below in the description if I can remember. So this is gonna be the first one we're gonna try and this is what it looks like. And there's another one I wanna try on here that is also free and it's called M Auto Pitch. And this is from Melda Productions and this is also a free download. And this is what this one looks like. So I know that this sample is in the key of C minor. So I'm gonna change both of these to the key of C minor. So for this one, I'm gonna go to minor and then go to C and it'll take out those notes that are not in that scale. And for here, I'm gonna go up here where it says default. I'm gonna hit this drop down, and we're gonna go down to C minor, which is right here. And for this one, I'm gonna turn off this format because I don't want it to keep my format. I want it to be weird. I'm gonna turn off this Integra, and I guess this is like the integrity of the actual sound. I'm gonna turn down the smoothness. I'm gonna go really fast so that it'll do the auto-correct really fast for it. And the correction amount is gonna be full. And I'm gonna turn up the volume for this as well to, to be at that zero dB for this. And I have it 100% wet as well. So this one is actually set up. Uh, this one, I'm not gonna change any of the defaults on here. I can take off the format, but I'll probably just leave it on there for now. So let's start with the Grillian 2. So I'm gonna mute this one. And I'm gonna hit on this track and it's auto armed. So you should be able to hear me on the mic. Check. Yeah. So now I have this going to the mic, but 
the auto tune is not on this track. So what we want to do is go right here to where it has sins receives in hardware. Click on that. And I want to go to add new send. Click on that. And I want to click on auto tune. So now I have the auto tune set up from the Grayley in it. Right? So now I have that set up on this track. So what I want to do is go back in here and I'm going to add a reverb. So now it gives me a better sound, I could say. And I'm going to add a delay. Turn this down. So now when I sing, you can hear the auto tune. <laughs> All right. So this is probably the best way to get the auto tune straight into the mic. Right. I'm just going to do a test run so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like with the Grillion is going. So let's go. Yeah, I don't know why people like auto tune sometimes. I don't know why. Oh, why? I'm a good world on this track. How loud your boy? All right, so that's what the auto tune sounds like. Uh, let's hear it back if you want to hear how it sounds. Yeah, I don't know why people like auto tune sometimes. I don't know why. Oh, why? I'm a go on this track. <laughs> oh man, auto tune, man. Sky, I love it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click, click on, on this one, one drag, drag it, down. it down. So, so basically, basically, it'll keep all the same information except for the auto tune, of course. And I can always add that back on here. Just go here and then go to uh, auto tune, and boom. I'll have that on this track as well. But I'm going to mute this track. And I'm going to use the M Audio Pitch. M Auto Pitch. And take off the Grillion. So now this one is the one that is going to be tuning the vocals. <laughs> So, I mean, you can choose whichever one you want to for your uh, recording. Let's record with this one. Ooh, I like this one a little better right now. Just a little better right now. Everybody knows auto tune. Get your auto tune. Believe me, you want this on your vocals. So you don't sound off key like me.
So that was the M audio pitch using auto tune on it. So this is what it sounds like when you play it back. This one a little better right now Just a little better right now But everybody loves auto-tune Get your auto-tune Believe me You want this on your phone <laughs> all right i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i had fun making this one uh just trying to learn how to use uh, reaper to actually record your vocals in here using the auto tune directly on the line i think this is uh what a lot of artists ask for when they come into the studio so if you actually have this set up or know how to actually do this uh, this will definitely benefit you if you're starting like a recording studio so with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, if you have like any questions, comments, please leave them below in the comment section and I will get back to you on them as soon as I see them on there. And if you do need any kind of mixing and mastering services, I do provide those on my website. Just go to xeloh.com so you can get your stuff mixed and mastered by me. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. And like I said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. But once again, thank you for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time, people. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.